It seems to be installed. Contacting Trollgate support. Your password is Tesh. While well, you are welcome to keep this password, we do recommend that you change it just in case. Thanks for playing Trollgate stuff. It's not moving. Who are you? The hell? Hello? Leah? Is that you? That's Officer Piero, and you don't get to ask questions. You can't see it, but there's a Bushnell 22mm rifle aimed right at your head. Step into the middle of the room now. Good. Now turn around. Face the shelf. Now I repeat, who are you? I'm Rosangela Blackwell. I'm the Bestower. The Bestower? You're the Bestower? You? As far as I know. Thank God. You have no idea. No idea what it's been like. Hiding in this little panic room. Waiting. Not knowing. Not knowing what? What exactly is going on? Wait. You mean... George didn't tell you? No. He... He died before he could tell me anything. Died? George is dead? Yes. I'm sorry. Did you save him? His ghost? Spirit? Or whatever? No. Leah? Sorry. I... We were close. Towards the end. He was a good person. A bit lost, maybe, but we all were. He didn't deserve that. Hell, none of us do. Where are you? Behind the wall. In a little room. The room has been specially sealed. Nothing physical or spiritual can harm us in here. We have enough supplies to last us a few more months. But we probably won't need it, now that you're here. Sorry, did you say we? Is someone else in there with you? Yes, my little Kendra. I didn't want her to get mixed up in all this, but I'm going to save her too if I can. Leah, I need you to tell me what happened. Of course. George didn't tell you. He couldn't have told you. He won't be telling anybody anything ever again. Leah, please. Yes, I know. It's just hard to say. I mean, who could I tell? Who would believe me? Emil? Corey? Sam? God, they must be worried sick. 
There was no time to say goodbye, but at least we're safe in here. Leah, Kendra is... Kendra is dead. I'm sorry. I know that. Of course I know that. But sometimes I can pretend she's just sleeping. She's still. So still. But her spirit is still with me. I can't see her, but I can feel her. Sense her. It helps. Leah, are you sure Kendra's spirit is in there? Of course. She has to be. I had to bring her here with me. I had to keep her spirit safe. Safe from whatever happened to George. To the others. In here with me, she's safe. She is safe, isn't she? Of course. She's in there with you. She's safe. No. Something is wrong. Even behind a wall of reinforced steel, I can hear it in your voice. Leah. The name is Officer Piero, and I ask you once again, is she safe? I can't say if she's safe or not, but she's not in there with you. What? How? How can you know that? I... Well, you know who I am. What I can do. I saw her. Kendra. Her ghost, I mean. She's not in there with you. I'm sorry. You saw her. That means they wouldn't have done that. They wouldn't dare, would they? Hold my daughter's soul for ransom? That's sick. Her soul is fine. For the moment. She's upstairs in her room. Oh, thank God. Listen to me. My daughter is dead, and I'm thanking God. I can't do this much longer. You must think I'm horrible. You'll help her, won't you? That's what you do, right? Yes, that's what I do. I really need you to tell me what happened. I can't help you if you don't tell me. Help Kendra first. I'm sorry, but she has top priority. I feel bad for George and the others, but this is Kendra. Damn everyone else. Help her, then I'll tell you everything you need to know. Can you give me anything else to go on? I told you. Help her, then I'll tell you everything you need to know. We can try to bring Kendra's ghost down here. You can talk to her if you want. That might help her. God, no. You have to get her spirit away from this house. Away from me. As soon as possible. I can't put her at risk. She might be dead, but I can't risk that. Anything but that. What does Kendra like for breakfast? Breakfast? What does that have to do with anything? I don't know. She keeps asking about breakfast. Oh, the password. Password? If I was busy on a case, I'd ask a colleague to escort Kendra home. She didn't know everyone I worked with, so I taught her to ask them, what did I have for breakfast? And if they replied, prunes in a Danish, she would know they could be trusted. It was... it was supposed to keep her safe. Why don't you come out? We can work together. No. You saw what happened to George. I step out of this room and they get me. And if Kendra is here when that happens, no, I, I won't risk it. Once she's safe, I'll come out and damn the consequences. I'm going to leave now, Leah. I'll be back when... Well, I'll be back. Just one question before you go. How is she? Does she know that she's... you know? No, but she will. That's part of how it works. They come to terms with it, and then they leave. I see. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you have to do this. This whole thing just spiraled out of control. Yeah, it always does. Well, that was weird. <clears throat> you okay? Sure. J just give me a second. I thought the basement smelled a little funny, but I never thought... Yeah. Take all the time you need. Hey, Kendra? Sorry to bother... Well... Listen. Uh. Look. What should I? I believe the answer is prunes and a Danish. You're really going to take me to see Dad? You betcha. Okay, let's go.
The house is so quiet. Mom must be asleep. Don't worry, Kendra. Okay. It's snowing! Should I go back in and get a jacket? Are you cold? Funny. I'm not cold at all. Then you should be fine. Hey, Joey. Yeah? How come she leaves footprints, but you and me don't? Oh, well, uh, that's easy. Just between you and me? She's much heavier than she looks. I can hear you, you know. <laughs> This is it. Thanks for taking me. I've got my own key. I can get in on my own. Sure. You, uh, you be safe now. Hmm. Locked. Didn't it? It fits. No response. He's asleep. Yeah, he's had a rough time of it. Does he know? Know what? Does he know that I'm, you know? No, he doesn't. Not yet. Good. Do you remember what happened? How you... how it happened? Not really. I remember being with my mom. It was dark and cold, but she was telling me everything would be all right. That I would be safe. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Why? It's not your fault. Doesn't matter. This kind of thing shouldn't happen. Lots of things happen that shouldn't. It's just... stuff. Yeah. Stuff. So, what now? Just, just come with me. Kendra, I'm gonna have to ask you to trust us, okay? You don't have to ask. I already do. Fair enough. Come over here. Just take a hold of this. Okay. The music, it's amazing. Music? It's everywhere. Can't you hear it? It's like every instrument ever made is a part of it. Do you think... Do you think they need a piano player? I don't see why they wouldn't. I'm gonna need a practice. But somehow, I think I'll have plenty of time. I guess you can't come with me? I'm sorry. This is a trip you have to take alone. Tell them I'll miss them, okay? Of course. Ugh. Still standing, at least. Yeah, bright side. She was so... easygoing. Something about kids, I guess. Their minds are more adaptable, flexible to new ideas, even death. Do you really believe that? Do we have any other choice? Come on, we're not done yet. Leah, are you there? Oh, it's you, Bestower. Kendra is safe, Leah. You mean she's... She's moved on. She said goodbye to her father, and she said... She said she'll miss you. How could... 
heard something that was so right go so horribly wrong. I went to a few meetings, and then I knew I had to join the police academy. It was like a lightning bolt. What kind of meeting? We were all so lost, so hungry for direction and not knowing where to go. All of us searching for that elusive something, that revelation that would fix our lives. The meetings at Grace somehow gave them to us. Gave them to you? Yes. No matter how confused we were, we all found our way. But this, all this was the price. Leah, I need you to focus and tell me what happened. I loved being a cop. I loved being a mother. I did good, didn't I? I thought I did. And you, you do good. That's what I heard. You always help, right? I help the dead. That's what I'm counting on. What? No! Jesus! Did... did it work? Why, Leah? Why do this? I'm sorry, but it's the only way. My only escape is through you. I know what you did for Kendra. Now do the same for me. Please, please, before they come for me. Okay, Leah, here's how it works. That's Officer Piero to you, and I know how it works. Great, that saves time. Red here is gonna take you somewhere safe, and when she does, you're gonna have a chat, okay? Fine, fine. Let's just do this quick. You hear me? Don't let this one just fly off into the light. Don't worry. All right, then. It's so quiet here. That little room was quiet, but not like this. It's like I'm hearing everything and nothing at the same time. Can you hear it? No, but Kendra said something similar. Is she out there somewhere? Yes, but Leah, before you go, I need you to tell me how you got this way. What led you to this? We called it the Grace Group because we met at Grace Church. We met once a week. We would talk. It was nice. So it was kind of a self-help group? Kind of. Kind of? What did you talk about? Funny, I don't remember. All I know is that it worked. For all of us. It was like magic. We all learned what we were meant to be. I joined the police academy and never looked back. George discovered a love of art. Made a killing as a dealer. George, he won't be out there, will he? He's gone. He risked himself and then he... Ugh! What was that? Oh no, Leah, get through the light, quick! I can't move. How do they find me? Here of all places. I don't know. Just try and hold on. You were supposed to help us. I'm trying. Please, I just need time. <laughs> no. Not again. Not again. Hey, you okay? No. No, I'm not okay. We were too late. Too late? She was taken just like George was. All she went through, she did it for nothing. I refuse to believe that. I just can't. Did she say anything, anything at all that could help us? There wasn't time. And there was something else. Something else? How did you get in here? What the? Leah? Um, look, I can explain. Turn around. Hands behind your head. No, wait, listen, I don't have time for this. I said turn around. Hands behind your head. On the floor. Please, just... Now! Sorry for the wait, ladies. My assistant seems to be... out. What can I do for you? Are you the owner of this establishment? My name's on the sign. Ah, so you are Malone. That's me. And you are? My name is Madeline. And your friend? <clears throat> Jocelyn Contis. Pleasure to meet you both. Nice looking fella. Shame about him being dead and all. Hey. Miss Contis, what can I help you with? So, who shot up this place? 
Hey? Come on, this place looks like the set of a gangster flick. I don't know what you mean. Uh, so, did you see who smashed up your window? What are you talking about? The window looks fine to me. Right, of course it does. Totally agree with you. Are you seriously telling me that this place looks normal? Listen, everything here is top of the line. We're even looking into that dry cleaning stuff. What cleaning? Dry cleaning. It's... Look, never mind. Can I help you with anything or what? Well, see you around. Sure. Like most lost spirits, he seems unaware of his circumstances. Malone. Hi there. What can I do you for? What happened to you? What do you mean? This shop. It is, shall we say, it looks shot up. <laughs> shot up? Look, I know the cleaning lady hasn't been in this week, but it ain't that bad. Now, can I help you or what? You should take a closer look at the walls and windows. They are definitely not what they should be. You sure talk funny, lady. There isn't anything wrong with the windows that I can see. You mentioned an assistant. Where is he? Danny? I have no idea where he is. So we're a bit short-staffed, but nothing I can't handle. We'll handle that costume of yours with extra care. Costume? That gown of yours looks very authentic. I don't even think you can get that fabric these days. <sighs> have I become antiquated so soon? No offense meant, I, I quite like it. The tiara's a nice touch. Brings out your eyes. Well, I always thought so. But you are mistaken. We are not leaving my costume here with you. We have other business. Malone, I regret that it falls to me to tell you that you are dead. What? Get out of town. Now, can I help you or what? Madeline, does that ever work? <sighs> no, it does not. Malone, I must insist. You are in fact dead. Look, you feeling all right? I am perfectly well. Nah, you're under pressure, I can tell. I got a bottle of whiskey in the back, if you need a belt. I do not need a belt, thank you. I will return presently. Take your time, I'm not going anywhere. Yes, well, we will see. Hmm. It says to ring... Nice looking f Hey. Miss Cup. Well. Sure. No point. They're all from last. Huh. Some kind of band. Danny and Linda Marconi? Never heard of them. Content. You in some music? I saw that poster on the wall. Oh, that's Danny's thing. Danny. The guy who runs this place with me, him and his girl, Linda. They're in a band. If you can call it that. They play weekends, sometimes. He wants to make it big, but, uh... But what? But nothing. Danny just needs to focus on earning an honest living, that's all. Do Danny and Linda have regular gigs? I don't know. Why? I might want to hear him play. Save your eardrums, lady. That's my advice. Well. Sure. Malone. Hi there. I could not help but overhear your conversation with my colleague. This, Danny Marconi. He is important to you, is he not? What makes you think that? Your energy. Your aura, if you will. It changes when you speak of him. So tell us. What is Danny to you? I have no idea what you're talking about. Malone, you know precisely what I am talking about. And you will tell us. I... <sighs> you don't think we will understand. Rest assured, we will. The only thing I understand is that I want you both gone. I could leave as you request. But I don't believe you want me to. Not really. Well, do you? 
I... Who the hell are you people? We are here to help. Nothing more. You are so close now. So close. Why is everything so confusing? It does not have to be. Life used to be so simple. Then Danny had to go follow a pipe dream. He had to make deals with club promoters. Club promoters he couldn't pay. So they showed up here. I told Danny to stay away while I tried to talk some sense into them. And did you? He got away. That's what's important. At least, I think it is. I'm not so sure anymore. I understand you now. You are adrift. You are scared. But there is nothing to be scared of. Come here. My host? Yeah, sorry. I don't know why I did it. Danny isn't much, really, but he's a good guy. You think it was worth it? I don't know. Sorry. You don't have anything to say? Anything at all? No. Not really. Right. So I just head that way. Yeah. Well, tell your friend thanks. And if you ever see Danny... <laughs> Forget it. I suppose it doesn't matter. My host. My host, are you alright? I knew you'd follow me in here. You can never give me a minute's peace. You should not stay here too long. Or what? I'll die. I get it now. We all thought my uncle was nuts, but he was just... numb. He just stopped caring. About anything. Who could blame him? Trust me, my host. It is best to push those feelings aside. Why? It is what must be done. That is all. What does it matter? Listen to me. In time, you will feel differently. Differently? Yes. This will all feel... normal. Normal? I don't want this to be normal! Many of your predecessors felt the same. In time, things changed. I'm going dancing, Madeline. Don't wait up. I see. I suppose after all this time it was inevitable that one of you deciphered the method. But do you think it will be that simple? It will not work! Do you hear me? It will destroy you! My host, Jocelyn Contest! Hear me! Contest! At 2.23 a.m., Detective Corey Palmer conducting interview with Rosangela Blackwell. Detective Sam Durkin also present. So, Miss Blackwell, tell us again why you were in that house. Say nothing. Tell them nothing. Keep your teeth together. We'll get out of this. Answer the question, Blackwell. <sighs> Let the record show that the interviewee has chosen to remain silent. That's your right. But your silence can and will be used against you. Remember that. Fine. Next question. What happened to Detective Piero? Miss Blackwell, I won't ask again. What happened to Detective Piero? Enough, Palma. You saw the paraffin test. Leah fired that weapon. I refuse to believe that, Sam. Believe what you want. Those are the facts. Well. Here's some facts for you. This lady was chatting with Emil Haskins earlier this evening. Not only that, we have a witness who saw her sneaking into his office at work. How do you respond to that? No answer, huh? Well, let me lay it out for you. We spoke to the clerk on duty. We spoke to Emil Haskins, a man who is now a widower, I might add. Nobody gave you permission. But then, breaking and entering isn't really a new thing for you, is it? I've pulled your file. Do you even know how many restraining orders you have against you? Let the record show that the interviewee has chosen to remain silent. Again. If getting banned from the campuses of NYU and Columbia weren't bad enough, 
We've got a dozen complaints registered against you from businesses and families. I'd call Bellevue to have you taken away. But you're banned from there, too. Who the hell are you? And why haven't you been taken in before now? Palmer, take a walk. Sam? You're tired. Go get a cup of coffee. I don't need coffee. Don't think I don't know what's going on here. I've heard the rumors. That you've got some mysterious informant. Is this her? Palmer? Fine. I'm going. But we will find out what happened. It's our damn job, after all. So, you happy now? Uh-huh. Look, I'm more patient than Palmer. Legally, we can keep you here for 12 hours. You really want to sit here for that long? Am I under arrest? Maybe, maybe not. That depends on you. The crap you pulled tonight, was it worth it? There's something much bigger going on. So you said. But we cops, we like things simple. Not you though. You make things complicated just by walking into a room. What are you trying to say? Officially, we're pursuing every lead. Unofficially, there was no trace of the bullet that killed the little girl. With Leah dead, we'll most likely never solve it. The trail is too cold. So, what do you need? Um, excuse me? You want it in so bad? You're in. You won't be on the books. We can't even pay you. This case is too high profile. So, what do you need? Zoe so Zoe. Access to George Austin's apartment. I'll take care of it. Anything else? Access to Leah's case files. Can't do it. Those are being boxed up and archived. Anything else? Everything you know about George Austin. Palmer can get you that. Speak to him tomorrow. Anything else? Cup of coffee? I'll have Palmer get you one on the way out. Anything else? Nothing that I can think of. Alright. From now on, you talk to Palmer. He'll be at the front desk tomorrow. Detective Durkin. Sam. Why are you doing this? Why me? My first case involved a kid. 30 years ago it must have been. There was this little girl living with her aunt. The aunt went nuts. Smashing things. Screaming. Total loony. The little girl was hiding in a closet. Couldn't have been more Zoe. than five. Scared out of her mind. I've had a soft spot for kids ever since. I see. Go home, Blackwell. Get some sleep. You look like you spent the night in jail. Huh. The press are having a field day. Lots of theories, but nothing approaching the truth. You expect anything different? Just be glad your name didn't get leaked. That's the last thing we need. No trace of the Grace Group, either. Then we best get out there and do what we do.